from Kingston RC. I'm back with another box from Banggood.com. Banggood was nice enough to let me pick out another vehicle to look at, and this is what I chose. This is a 1 10th scale Willys MB Jeep. It's a 2.4 gigahertz electric, ready to run, four wheel drive. It's got a rechargeable battery and charger. And I think all you need is a couple of double A's for the transmitter to get going on this one. Uh, this version has the option to purchase a cloth top for it, which is pretty cool. Uh, if you get a chance, check out banggood.com because right now they got great sales going on all their military stuff and their RCs. Uh, they've just got tons of different stuff. Uh, if you get a chance, check them out. They got RCs, parts, uh, upgrades, all kinds of stuff. But uh, I'll leave a link in the description to this and to their website so you can check it out. But yeah, I chose this. I mean, you guys know me. I love Jeeps. Uh, this thing, the body looks amazing. Great detail. It's a one-tenth scale, which I'm, you know, happy about. I really want to kind of compare it to my uh, MM Model V90 just to kind of get a comparison because this is a one-twelfth scale. But uh, really see how the scale, you know, looks. But uh, great box art on this. I mean, it's a great looking Jeep. Uh, it's got a little history on the side about the MB Jeep. Uh, 1941 Willys and Ford uh, collaborated together to mass produce this Jeep for the military effort, which is pretty cool. Uh, this model comes in, I think, three different colors. You have this bluish gray color, a light tan color, and then the green color, which I hope is the one I got. But uh, really great detail. Uh, the windshield folds down. I mean, it's got the steering wheel shifters. It's got all kinds of stuff in there, so a lot of detail to it. Uh, LEDs on the front. Uh, I think it might have LEDs on the rear, too, so... But uh, we'll look at it. Yeah, I was super excited about this one. I saw it, and I'm like, man, I have to have that. Um, you know, again, it's more of a toy-grade RC, but for someone getting into the scale side of uh, RC... I mean, you can't beat that. I mean, that body is just amazing. So I'm super excited to look at this thing. I want to crack this box open and uh, we'll take a look at it. So, <clears throat> this is what we got. Uh, super nice detail. Uh, it is bigger than I thought it was going to be. It really looks nice. Um, the tires are rubber. The hood opens up. You got your battery in there. This is a 500 milliamp 4.8 battery, 4.8 volt battery. I'm going to get this charging while we're sitting here. <clears throat> get some power in there. Um, super, super cool. Suspension is very stiff and it's leaf spring. So front and rear, which is really nice. Very authentic. Uh, the windshield does fold up and down. There's no, you know, plastic in for the windshield, but super nice inside steering wheel. Got your, all your shifters, uh, seats. Very cool looking. Very cool looking. Underneath, again, like the MN model, kind of. Um, Everything looks plastic. The leaf springs, like one of the springs is metal. The main spring is metal. The frame rails are metal. Uh, it does have LEDs in the back, because I can see the wiring now. But uh, everything is plastic. Um, really nice though. And by the looks of it, the way the remote feels, it's going to have proportional steering because it doesn't just have that click click. So I'm excited to see that. But yeah, I've already got uh, ideas flowing 
Uh, it's got really cool scale stuff on the side. We got a shovel right here. Uh, looks like, well, I guess you could take it out. It just kind of clips in there, but very, very nice detail. You can see underneath. Very similar to the MN model, uh, the WPLs, it's all real similar, but uh, super nice looking. I, I mean, the detail is amazing. I've already got ideas flowing. Uh, super cool, uh, excited about this. Uh, let's, we're gonna get the uh, battery charged up and then we'll do a little uh, bench test on it and see how it does. All right, uh, I've got the battery charging. Uh, it's not gonna be fully charged, but we're still gonna, you know, we're gonna test this thing out. Uh, just, I did wanna go over, it does come with a little USB charger, uh, two double A's for the uh, transmitter. Uh, pretty nice, I mean, it's on the small side, but it's got a nice foam grip. And I mean, it, it feels really nice. You got steering trim, throttle trim. Uh, so we'll check that out. It did come with a little booklet. Uh, really nice uh, pictures on it um, you know just goes over the basics uh, optional accessories it looks like you can eventually maybe get all replacement parts for it uh, they show all that uh, you know just regular stuff but uh, let's get this battery in oh, before I do that we're gonna do a little comparison we're gonna take this and this is the MN model D90. This is a 1 12th scale. If you uh, have seen my channel, I did this. There's a 1 12th scale D90. This is a 1 10th scale, it says. So we're gonna kinda do a little comparisons. You know, these Jeeps, in reality, uh, these little Willys Jeeps are very small vehicles. So overall, I would say the scale is proper because it would be a lot smaller than this vehicle and you can see they're really kind of look the same uh wheelbase it looks like the exact same wheelbase as the 112 scale d90 as on this one so uh, i would say the scale is pretty close i have to find me a little driver for this Definitely going to be a little smaller scale than, say, Arnold back there, but, uh, you know, it's uh, it's pretty nice. Pretty nice. Scale looks good. Let's get this thing uh, battery in it, and we'll see what happens. I know this battery isn't fully charged, so, but it's going to have at least something in there. This plugs in. It's got a little Velcro down in here to stick it down, which is nice. It won't flop around. Nice hood that latches. Uh, let's the remote. We'll turn the remote on. On. Turn this on. We've got some beeps and some lights. There's your LEDs in the front. LEDs in the rear. Uh, I did want to go over again. There is no shock absorber, so it's just the leaf spring suspension, which is fine. I mean, if you put a shock on here, the thing probably wouldn't even go up and down. But I'm sure with a little use on these, you can probably soften the springs up. But, uh, all right, let's let's check the steering. Uh, it's a little glitchy, but it is more proportional than the D90. The D90 was just right or left, or this does have a little proportioning to it. Definitely better. Well, yeah. Nice. Let's see how what kind of speed we get. That's pretty decent. There's a little delay, a little delay in full throttle, so it goes on, comes on slow. 
is probably just protection for the gearing and things, but I mean, overall. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Yeah. Pretty nice, pretty nice. I'm liking it. Um, yeah, I'm already excited about uh, weathering this thing up. You know, I'll do my little spin on it. We'll do another video on that. Uh, take it out for a trail run. You know, I'm not sure how much, uh, you know, upgrades I'll do to this. I'll probably just weather it up, make it look really cool, get me a nice driver for it. But uh, overall, I mean, it's a really cool vehicle. Uh, once again, uh, banggood.com. Thanks to them for this. I really appreciate it. Uh, if you get a chance, check out banggood.com. Like I said, I'll leave a link in the description. But, uh, you know, if you're wanting to get into scale RC, I mean, this is one way to start and just have fun. Uh, and like I said, it's inexpensive. So if you want to try something, you know, and you mess something up, you know, it's not that big a deal. So, uh, but really cool. Yeah, I'm going to do my spin on the body. I'll do a little weathering on this and uh, we'll take another look at it after that. But I appreciate everybody watching and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.